On this episode, we are going to talk about something very important. We are going to be talking about planning for 2017. All right, well, this is episode 20. We made it to 20. I didn't think we would make it to 20. Um, no, that's not true. I knew we'd make it to 20. Um, I just didn't think it would take so long, actually, to get to 20. But here we are. Um, we are going to be talking about planning for 2017. I, I brought my laptop this time. It's a beautiful laptop. People make fun of me for this laptop. Um, I got it refurbished, $250 on uh, Newegg, I think. Newegg.ca or .com. Newegg. It's, a, it's a thick pad. Newegg is a really good site. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this I I plug I so I, what I I plug this thing into um, three monitors. So this thing I cl I have it closed normally, and it's running on on three monitors. This little ThinkPad, two hundred fifty dollar ThinkPad, very underrated, and um, certainly a lot cheaper than uh, sort of the alternative, which would typically be a Mac or something like that. So I brought this today just because, um, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about. Um, um, 2017 and what what I have planned. I'm, I'm gonna get my shit together this year and I'm actually gonna come up with a plan and um, and I'm gonna show you how, how I did it. So I kind of, I didn't I didn't um, go out and, and try and find like a whole bunch of different like books and things like that on planning, but rather I'm kind of just taking what I've, what I've learned to date and kind of coming up with my quasi own thing. And so I, I, I I wrote a, a few examples here just to kind of get you thinking. It's not, it's not necessarily just like work stuff. Um, I think it's tempting to, um, to just want to create like a business plan, but uh, really your personal stuff really affects how you work. So I, I kind of included both in this plan. And so things like, um, uh, things like my meals. So I put all my, I, I plan my m meals out um, one week in advance. So on Sunday, um, or Saturday, I'll plan out what meals I'm going to have for the week. <clears throat> and so one thing I notice is I've been going, I've been doing a lot more sort of vegetarian essentially. So uh, a lot less meat. And when I do eat meat, instead of having like a 10 ounce portion, I'll have a four ounce portion. And so um, what I, so I noticed that in, in my calendar. And that's sort of one thing that I'd like to continue because my, my food bill has gone down tremendously, which is nice. But also, I'm finding myself going out to the, um, the grocery store less. Like I, I go to instead of going to Costco like every three weeks, I'm going like every six to eight weeks, which is awesome because it's usually the Costco bill that's the biggest. Um, and I, I don't feel any different. Um, I got I got heck over Christmas because my mom thinks I'm getting skinny. But other than that, um, I feel you know entirely the same. So. Um, that was interesting. Jiu Jitsu, that was something that um, I started doing with greater regularity last year. And I would like to, is something that I, I absolutely adore and I think about all the time. Um, but I haven't been able to quite commit as much as I would like to. I'm doing it roughly two times a week and I'd like that to be much closer to four. So what do I need to do in my calendar to make that so? Um, so that's one of the things. So you're seeing there's like a lot of like personal stuff, stuff that, that's not you know, directly related to, to business. Um, what else do I have here? A lot of more reading. Um, I did, I, I took like one trip all year and that's kind of, that's kind of a problem. I, I really enjoyed that trip and I would like to, to do a little bit more of that. So what do I need to do? How do I reverse engineer that essentially in the coming year so that I can take more of those trips? Um, and I found lots of busy work, lots of, lots of meetings, lots of um, uh, scheduling to do things that I absolutely do not need to do or do not enjoy. So I will not be scheduling myself for those items uh, in, in this coming year. And so then the, the next step, so step number two is, is kind of figuring out um, what, what I want to accomplish this year. Um, and so what I did is, um, and I'd love to have some structure for this. And if somebody has any um, suggestions yourself included Danny uh, for how to how to do this what I did is I just took a Google document and I just did a brain dump anything that came to mind that I wanted or wanted to accomplish or wanted to do um, or wanted to be uh, at the end of 2017 I just I put it on this massive list and it, and it spanned 
you know, three, four, maybe, uh, I think it was about five pages long. And then um, I just started kind of breaking it down a little bit, or rather actually condensing it first. So I would kind of, I'd, I'd sort of t do one pass at it, and then I'd notice items that could be kind of grouped together or items that um, were part of, of bigger items. And so I grouped those together. And all of a sudden it got down to about two pages. And then there were some things that, um, you know, when I, when I write, I try and just write. I don't think too much about it. And so there were some items that were kind of just totally um, ridiculous. Like um, I wanted to, it was one of the things I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to learn to, to um, uh, like I wanted to spend, I think I said I wanted to spend like uh, four, four times a week at the shooting range. So first get my, um, get my, my firearms license, my, um, my hunting license, my unrestricted and restricted, and then basically go to the range once, uh, once per week. And I, I, I just don't see that happening. I'm not that excited about doing that. So I, I scratched that. Um, but, uh, then sort of once, so once I had sort of a more condensed list that I could work with, um, then I started to apply the 80, 20, uh, rule to each one of the, um, items. So the Pareto principle. So what is, what, um, what 20% of these items are going to present per, is going to provide me with 80% of the value or provide my team with 80% of the value or provide my family with 80% of the value. Um, and, and so again, I just went through item by item and then uh, I cut that list down to one page essentially or one and a half pages at that point. And so what was essentially left were sort of core items that I wanted to achieve. So it might've been, you know, there were um, revenue projections. This year I'd, uh, I'd like um, our sort of main business unit to do 2.5 million in, in, in total uh, fiscal revenue. Um, so we have, you know, maybe about nine months to do that. And uh, what else? Um, well, actually, I have it right here. And this is why I kind of, I, I wanted to, because again, a part of this is, is kind of being accountable to somebody. So you guys are kind of helping me. 100% um, margins on all products. I, I asked around a little bit to see what was, uh, what people, tend to mark their stuff up by, or at least people kind of in my industry, but, but I think it'd probably be a great service to me to ask other people in other industries what they mark up, you know, their time or their products or they, their cost of goods sold or whatever by. Um, I'm aiming to just have everything at 100% and then next year I might have another look at that. Um, things like redesigning our website, um, what else? Uh, corporate restructuring, um, bringing in new, uh, bringing in a new accounting team and, and so on and so forth. So there's, uh, and I've got some personal goals too. Let me share those because I actually kind of like those. Um, so I've, I've got two or three sort of overarching big goals. First being to automate or outsource uh, myself out of a job. So come September when I have my wedding and when I go for my honeymoon, I, I don't want to have to feel like I have to work at all. Like I would like to be able to take that entire month off so if I show up for work at all, it'll be because I wanted to, um, not because I needed to. Um, so ideally, essentially I have nine months now to figure out how I'm going to do that. How I, how I can create a situation where I could go to, where I could not show up on Slack or show up um, in my inbox or do any support or be on any calls for an entire month. So that's one of my big goals. And the other thing is um, only doing things that matter. So it's sort of uh, as a result of reading Eat That Frog. So having a look at um, where are my small frogs and where are my big frogs and which are the items that are going to bring um, tremendous value and only working on those items and getting rid of the other items. And so once I have the final list, which I'm still working on, is I'm going to start breaking them down. So some items I'm going to um, go about breaking down uh, with my team. So we'll basically re reverse engineer how to accomplish them. So if we want to make two and a half million dollars this year, what do we have to do this month so that come September, um, we've already generated that much revenue? What do we have? What, how much revenue do we have to generate this month? And then what are the items that we have to accomplish in order to generate, um, you know, that couple hundred thousand dollars or, or whatever the, the math may be um, this month? Um, and then sort of the, the third thing is, is kind of 
I guess, accountability, both for me and my team members, um, kind of putting it in their face uh, as often as possible. Um, for example, I've got a, a little a whiteboard up in, in my um, home office, and I've got all the items um, for quarter four that I wanted to accomplish. And so every day when I came in, I could see them. They were in my face and they were obvious. Another thing, another two things, letting other people know. So what I'm doing right now um, and will continue to do uh, as I sort of nail down some of these goals. Um, and then finally putting some skin in the game. So, you know, might be um, if I don't reach this goal, I'm going to give, uh, you know, a hundred bucks or uh, $500 or I'm going to have to do uh, a thousand push-ups in, in, in like three days or something ridiculous like that. Um, it's things that I don't necessarily want to do um, uh, to, to kind of commit to these things. And there's, I think there's a bunch of different, have you ever heard of those apps that, that they have for like losing weight or like quitting smoking or something like that where you can, you have to put up like something? Have you heard of that? No, I, I haven't heard of apps doing that. No? Like, I've heard of like regular fitness programs, but not Yeah, like, yeah, I've, I've heard of some like that. I wish I could remember them, but... Um, if you guys if you guys know them, just post them in the comments or, or something like that and remind me of them. But there there's definitely a, a couple of them where you can like I think put up a hundred bucks and if you don't meet that um, that goal, whatever it may be, then it goes to charity or something useful like that. Um, which is a, a pretty great idea. And that's that's kinda it. That's that sounds pretty neat. You, what? so you like hold money and then if you don't meet your goal then you Get sent away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that would motivate me. The thing is, though, like I'd want to see that go to charity, so I might uh, not yeah. be so inclined. You can't have the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe I would have to like raise the dollar amount, or um, maybe there are ones that are like peer to peer, where like right. that money could go to like someone I don't like very much, uh, <laughs> or yeah. something like that. I don't know. Have you done any 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 planning for for two thousand seventeen? Uh, I, there are I'm putting you on the spot. There are goals that I want to do actually this year. Yeah. My number one goal. Yeah. Is put it to, on record. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> number one goal is to film on location in a different city or country. Word. Because I hear about filmmakers all the time. Let's go to Seattle. Yeah. 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 And, no, uh, actually, let's go film in Seattle. Okay. We could do that. Okay. Yeah, there. I can help you accomplish your goal. There you go. Um, I was looking for something a bit more ambitious. <laughs> what? Is this like, an ambitious? Okay, well, I was just there last week. Oh, okay. So you're thinking <laughs> but, like uh, somewhere in Europe like or something. Like Thailand. Oh, yeah. That Japan, would be badass. Or like some, somewhere <laughs> where like I have to like earn it, you know? I have yeah, to, yeah, like, yeah. I have to like make a treatment and like form a team maybe. Sure, and sure. And then pitch it to like a, to an investor or a company and then... Um, and then we get all expenses paid, right? Ooh. Like travel, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and room and board. How would you do food. that? I don't know. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> figured it out. So now you got to reverse engineer I think, that. I think that's badass though, because I hear about the guys in my office doing it all the time. They really? always go all over the world. Yeah. Well, then you need to figure it. You yeah, need to talk exactly. to them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe what you do is you go with them the first time, right? Yeah. And then kind of just see how they got it set up. Yeah. And then do it for yourself yeah. the following year or something like that. Like maybe there, there's like a baby step there. So at yeah. least then you, I mean, even if you don't accomplish it yourself, then at least you, you sort of tagged along yeah. on one of these True. things, which is kind of like that halfway. Counts. That, ca that counts. That counts as, yeah. as long as I'm just there. in a different like, yeah, location, yeah. like country especially. Do you have, you mentioned Thailand, is there one in particular that... Well, it's actually, I said Thailand, but I think my number one place would be Japan. Cool. That's the country I want to go to the most. Okay, okay. But it, really, anyone abroad. Where, like, what else? Sick. What else? Um, London. No, 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 like what else? What other goals? Oh, uh, none really off the top of my head. Maybe just <laughs> sign up for my GST number, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> Yes, like that, I think you. Official. I think you should. Maybe you I should go that, home and do that right away. Yeah, make a make a website, a brand new website. Finalize my business name. Yeah. Do way more of my own projects. Yeah. Uh, GST like, number is our sort of. Um, uh, it's called goods and services tax. It's something that we have here in uh, in British Columbia. It's like. Um, well, I don't know that much about it, so I'm not going to go. <laughs> I'm not going to say something I don't actually know about, but. Um, 
Yeah, and you should, um, one, one of the big mistakes that I made um, is uh, I remained a part, or not a, a, a sole prop, a sole proprietorship for way, way too long. Like, mm. I think I was already making like $500,000 or something like that before I decided to incorporate yeah. and was per paying horrendous tax when I could have been um, paying, because basically when, when you're a sole prop, it's, it's all your personal income, yeah. right? Yeah. So you're not paying, instead of paying like, I don't know, like 13% business tax. I, I, I'm probably wrong on that number. Um, you're paying, you know, whatever your whatever tax bracket you're in. Yeah. Which, if you're making big money, um, that becomes you get taxed. A, you get taxed to, just yeah. to hell. Yeah. Um, and and while I'm at it, um, the next step is actually you know creating a holdings company and things like that, which yeah. I'm I'm doing right now. Yeah. Um, which is a whole other mess. You know, this year I'm paying a ridiculous amount of tax again because I didn't think or didn't know or put off because it was a pain in the ass. Um, you know, actually setting up a, 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 a proper corporate structure. Yeah. Right. So don't don't leave that too late. Yeah. In fact, put that on your on your list. Maybe not incorporating this year, but at the very least, getting set up properly. It seems and too early talking for to me some to smart people. Like, Maybe, but just. At least have that conversation so you yeah. know okay. when um, you should incorporate. Okay. There's so otherwise, you're, you're going to hate yourself. Yeah, there's people I work with that will yeah. be incorporated. Totally. They'll know. And they're basically sole providers. They were just themselves. Yeah. yeah. But they incorporated because yeah. obviously it was, you know, uh, for tax reasons, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, uh, thank you as always for your time, for your attention, uh, for your click for pushing play on our video, for giving us a chance to entertain you, to educate you, um, to put our goals on record um, so that at the end of the year you can come to us. Um, and I'll put more goals on record as I kind of finalize them, but at the end of the year you can, uh, if you don't see us uh, meeting those goals, you can shame us online. How does that sound? You ready for that? Yeah, <laughs> that well, could turn out really that's, badly. <laughs> that's, part of, that's part of YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. Like so. Um, if you liked this video, um, we appreciate the likes, we appreciate the comments, we appreciate the subscriptions. Um, anything like that you can do to support us to tell us that we are on the right track. We're spending a lot of time um, in these first early months of this year trying to um, sort of get get on message and and um, and kind of refigure out what it what our narrative is, what my narrative is. Uh, so that we can kind of focus in on what what it is that you want to hear. So if there's something that 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 you really want to hear about or that you'd like us to focus on, like me to focus on talking about, um, I hope you'll email me. I hope you'll leave a comment. I, 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 you know, this this show is kind of for you, right? It's, I'm I'm just sort of. Um, you, getting the sort of selfish benefit that I, that I get to kind of document some of the things I do and treat this a bit like a journal. So if there's something I can do to help you, um, leave a message, uh, send me an email, adam at magistrateinc.com. Um, but otherwise, um, we'll see you on the interwebs. Thanks.